The metal copper has a specific heat capacity of 385 joules needed for every kilogram to raise it by degrees Celsius. Now the thermal capacity of a small block of copper is 308 joules per degree Celsius. And we have to calculate the mass of this copper block. Let's start off by doing a data list. What do we know? We know that the specific heat capacity C is equal to 385 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. And that's a material property. We know that the thermal capacity, the thermal capacity of the block is equal to 308 joules required to raise it by one degree Celsius. And the question is, what is the mass of the block? in kilograms. So we check the units. Do they all agree? Yes, joules, joules, degrees Celsius, degrees Celsius, and that'll be in kilograms and kilograms. Okay, we need an equation now. And here's our equation. That thermal capacity, thermal capacity is equal to M times C, the specific heat capacity. Let's put the numbers in. 308 is equal to m multiplied by 385. Let's divide both sides by 385 to get m as the subject. And we will get m equals 0 0.8 kilograms. So we've got our data list. We've got our equation. We've subbed in the numbers, solve, and we've stated the answer with the correct unit, less. And so that's the answer to this flashcard. We found the mass of the copper block. Now here's a little bonus question for you. If that block was twice the mass, so if M was 1.6 kilograms, so that's times two the mass, what would happen to its thermal capacity and what would happen to its specific heat capacity? So you might want to pause the video just there and just have a think about that. Okay, so if the mass is doubled, then there's twice the room for it to absorb energy before it rises by one degree Celsius. So the thermal capacity will also double. The thermal capacity will be doubled. But what about the specific heat capacity, C? Well, that will stay the same. So I'll put SHC, the specific heat capacity, or C, stays the same. Why is that? Because specific heat capacity is a material property and it's just telling us how much energy is needed per kilogram of the material. So it doesn't matter how much material we've got, the specific heat capacity just tells us the energy required per kilogram to raise by one degree. Hope that makes sense. See you in the next flashcard.